Hey yo, what's up guys, it's Sir Codes, and today I got a nice gameplay on Meltdown. It is a 4v4 SND in League play, and I wanted to run a uh, SMG in the beginning because I wanted to kind of feel out what this other team was doing. And when you look at the scoreboard, it says GB. I don't know if they meant like game battles or something like that, but usually that means they're pretty good players, but I kind of found out that they're really predictable. So I wanted to run a sub at the start. I've been grinding League play for a while now. So I just wanted to give you guys uh, a little insight of what I'm thinking of when I'm playing. Um, so I'll, I'm playing solo right now. I don't know any of these uh, other three players. So I rush into A because they all go B. I don't want them to rush plant A. So I lay prone here for a little bit just to see like where they're where they're thinking at. Usually they go B in the first round, especially in offense. Um, so I'm rushing middle right here, and I'm just camping this spot. And I think right here is when. So there's the first kill. So the first kill is at B. In Search and Destroy in League Play, the rounds are really short as it is. So when there's one kill at a certain bomb site, that's usually where the bomb is located. So right here I feel like it's free for me to flank. I don't think anybody's watching flank, so I rush up into their spawn building. Um, just, to, just to check out, see if someone's going mid or in, their, or in their spawn. So right there, some guy dies in our spawn. So I want to rush behind. I know they're going B 100% unless they rotate all the way back. But I see my teammates um, on the other side of their spawn. So most likely they're going to be planning B right now. So I'm just waiting it out. My teammate dies, so it's a, it's a 2v1. So I'm trying to take up my time because I know the bomb is on B or by B. So I'm just trying to wait. And I got pretty unfortunate here where I checked the bomb really fast and then I got killed. So um, that was one of my two deaths in this map. So that was just pretty unfortunate there. He had a target finder and was just pre-aiming in the middle. Um, and he actually didn't have bomb, but the second guy was right there, so I would have got cleaned up anyways. But um, yeah, so they played that pretty unorthodox. I mean, the bomb went B, so um, I knew about that. So um, right now I'm just trying to I'm just trying to feel it out. I changed out to my sniper class. I run overkill with the SMG. Just trying to clear out B. Trying to check out, see where they're going. Um, because when I'm in league play, I really don't like going away from the bomb because it. it Especially in offense, I mean, if the bomb's going into a certain location, you want all four of your members to um, kind of go over there. So right here, I lay prone, cream, get the sniper kill. So it's a 3v4, 3v3 right now. So I want to watch flank for a little bit, make sure they don't flank us. Um, and right now, he's checking their spawn just to make sure. Um, so he's putting the bomb down right here. So I want to kind of go to their spawn, um, or actually middle. Um, so right here is a really unorthodox spot where I don't think he's going to go window and if you move up a little bit right here you can check the cross to to the mid so you can see if someone's crossing right there and here I got a drop shot on this guy so you can see the cross if he jumps through the window or you can see the cross to B if he runs through mid because I know my teammates are already at the B bomb site. Um, so right here there's uh, a little bit of time left so I want to flank. I got pretty lucky here I threw a nade and I hit him. Um, I was going to snipe him but yeah so they hated that nade um i mean they were they were gonna get cleaned up anyways i mean that guy wasn't gonna be able to defuse even if he didn't get killed by that it would have splash damaged him and he would have been easy one shot. Um, if I missed my sniper shot, I would have taken out my SMG. So right here, I'm going to go back to A. I'm going to rush, um, especially on D, um, because they haven't they went B last time, so I want to go to A to maybe surprise and throw an EMP. So I didn't get, a, I didn't get anything um, A side. So right here is pretty fortunate. I knew, um, usually when they see stuns or nades, um, they like to rush because they know um, someone in there doesn't have a stun or nade anymore and they're not really checking it. Usually when they throw an EMP, it has a very large radius of uh, where it'll affect you. So right here, one guy went A, so I just wanted to make sure um, to check A one more time, see if someone was bringing up. And I didn't really look right there, but that was actually bomb. So um, right here, I wanted to see if they would cross into B. Um, if they're in A, I can um, just go through middle and um, rotate back. Um, so right here, this guy just shot from mid, so I know he's inside A. Um, so I wanted to rotate back, and right here I look down that bomb, get a nice little drop shot. So I know bomb's down A. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to navigate away from A because there's only 30 seconds left. This was unfortunate; I got shot in the back. Um, but since bomb's at A, I don't want to rotate to B because there's no point. There's only 30 seconds left. This guy made a pretty decent play. I would have just stayed in this room because um, it's pretty 
a pretty like pointless situation. No one's gonna check up here. Um, so right here he goes and checks bomb, which is a smart play. Um, that's the only that was my final death. So um, I only had two deaths this map. Um, and seven maps. So uh, I had to meet these kids. They were getting pretty annoying. Um, so right here I want to run an SMG. Um, actually I don't know if I run an SMG or an AR. Um, yeah, I run an AR. I think I run the M8. Yeah. Search and destroy. Um, so right here I just want to try to stay back. Actually, no, no, I'm just, I'm using actually a sub. Um. I want to feel out B, but I want to rush middle because that's they haven't actually done anything middle yet. So I think I EMP or stun check middle right here. Yeah. So I go back to their uh, engine building. So there I get an EMP middle. So I know there's at least one or two guys middle there. It could be either underneath or in the middle. So right here, I don't know exactly if he's on top or in the bottom. So I know he's underneath right now because I EMP middle and there's two kills right there. My teammate and um, the other team. So I want to flank. Um, they gotta be, I know there's at least one guy in here, that's why I'm pre-aiming it. He's either laying prone or, um, so that was really lucky, his teammate was pretty oblivious. Um, so right here, uh, his teammate kills him, so I know he's above. Um, I peek right there, I, I see the tip of his head, so I know he's in middle somewhere, so I get the easy kill. Right so when you throw EMPs, especially where I was, when you throw it, um, I jumped into engine building right there to the left, and I knew there was an EMP, it was either above or below, and after I saw the two kills, I knew there was at least one guy um, underneath, and if he pushed out, um, I could follow him back into A, or um, I could get an easy kill like that. I was fortunate that his teammate was kind of just oblivious and running, sprinting uh, next to his prone buddy, but um, uh, right here, I just want to rush back. Actually, no, no, I changed my sniper class, actually, because I wanted to play it slow this round, especially on defense. I didn't want to get picked off. Um, there's a big difference between 4-1 and 3-2. Um, it's a huge difference. I mean, they gotta win five, they basically have to win 5-2, um, the next set of rounds. So, um, except in, instead of 3-2, which is basically even. So right here, I wanna sit back and spawn. Right there, I see my teammate died from a nade, and my teammate died, um, B-side. Um, so I know they're gonna go B-side. Um, this is a really good spot where you get to see the cross to B. Um, my teammate picked someone up over there. So right here you can see the cross to B. It's really hard for someone to flank. Um, flank behind us. Um, there's not enough time. There's virtually no point to flank all the way behind unless there's somebody camping up on that left uh, top area by the stairs. Um, but it's a good spot. You get to see cross and if he's on bomb, you can run to the left. You can get up there or you could just pre-aim it because he's virtually stuck for a little bit. Or you could just rush him. Um, because you know there's a guy there, and that was the final guy, so, um, that's a good little spot if you're on defense. Um, and on offense right here, I wanted to go behind this truck to see if they will, um, check mid or rush engine building, because I know they went, um, below, uh, the first time, so they might actually rush engine building. And I see the tip of his head right there, and two people rush engine building, uh, right here. So, um... Just predicting what they would actually do. If they don't go A, they're gonna go middle. They're not gonna go B, they're gonna go into engine building. Um, so I pick one off there, and I saw the other guy that was still in there. Um, and I'm right there, I think I saw him cross to the side. Um, just to see if he would stay in there. Um, so I'm gonna go and uh, just pre-aim, see if I see his body. Um, and I had some sixth sense that he would stay in there for some reason. I don't know why, even on defense, he would stay in engine building. So I stun check it. Um, so it stuns on the right side. And I nade him right there, which is the easy kill right there. He didn't have flak jacket. Lucky well, ass nade. I could the And they keep saying lucky ass nade, but you know, he by the van. I stun, I stun lucky check, and I mean, grenade. virtually unless he has flak jacket, he's dead. Down, Even if he's on the other side, he's one shot, and I could just it's run around so and so just clean him up. So uh, right now we're a five one. Um, want to take it slow? Go A. Um, because I know they're gonna want to get the bomb down. They gotta, they gotta make plays right now. They're down five to one. Um, so I know they're gonna rush. A, although I don't know if they're gonna rush A, but I know they want to get the bomb down fast. They're getting really pissed off um, by the unorthodox plays because um, they're constantly rushing. So you, all you do is sit back, and that's another thing. The difference. Oh, right here, I my next kill. So I get my health storm. I want to call it in right here. Um, I just wanted to talk about the difference between camping and strategic play, um, especially in SND, if it's not a respawn game type, so I can pick up a nice uh, two-piece right there, and this guy wasn't even playing, so uh, this wraps it up, but 
there's a difference between in respawn games when you're camping and uh, SND. If you're strategic and where your placement is, uh, you should get no like crap talk to you. Um, you're just playing SND the way it should be played, and you shouldn't be rushing around, especially in league play when you're playing against better players. Um, there's virtually no point to be rushing around if you're strategic. As you saw in my gameplay, I switched up from SMG to Sniper to AR. Um, so you have to adapt to your opponents, and you have to adapt to the certain situations that you're in, especially in SND, because on Meltdown it's a big map. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Alright, peace.